you go, babe. Okay, good. Very smooth. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is a new microphone, so uh, I'm getting used to it. But it is so good to be with you, as, uh, as it always is, whether you are online or whether you are here in person this morning. Uh, this morning is an especial an especially special day um, because uh, today is our installation of office bearers and we are very grateful for that. We will get to that uh, in a little while. Uh, other than that, I have uh, a couple of announcements for you. One is that um, I wanted to remind you if you have not heard already and uh, I, I don't have my poppy on, I forgot to bring my poppy. Uh, but Remembrance Day here in the village, the, pardon? Move your mic down a little bit. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Um, Remembrance Day here in the village, the official ceremony has been uh, canceled for this year. Um, individuals and organizations will bring their uh, wreaths um, whenever they like over the course of uh, Remembrance Day uh, to the Cenotaph and, and put them there, uh, but the official ceremony is canceled for today, or for this year. That does not mean, however, of course, that we don't want to spend time remembering uh, the sacrifice of so many uh, men and women uh, in the armed forces uh, who have contributed to our uh, peace and freedom with sacrifice of their own uh, over the course of many, many years. And so we want to remember that. Also, um, we are not able to have our normal um, joint Advent service. The ministerial provides a Advent service every year. Um, that is a, a joint service with all of the churches in town. That is not happening in the normal way this year. However, you are encouraged uh, to provide uh, a video recording of yourself or a small uh, physically appropriate uh, physically distanced, whatever, um, group doing a Christmassy, Adventy sort of thing, whether it's a, a poetry reading or whether it's a prayer or whether it's a, a song or whatever it is, you can send those videos to me and I will put them together for a worship service, a, a joint Advent worship service online. Um, so the deadline for that, if you want to contribute uh, a poem or, or something, is November the 20th. It needs to be uh, to me. And if you're not sure how you can uh, get that to me, just let me know and I will help you out with that gladly. Um, yeah, I think those are all the announcements for now. I'll have a few more things to talk about when we are at uh, congregational prayer. Um, so we will get to those then. So for now, would you please stand and receive God's greeting. Welcome, brothers and sisters, into this place where the Lord our God, who gives us great hope for a future and for all things wonderful and good, Welcome into this place. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Um, oh, I do have one more announcement that I need to make. You can be seated uh, for now, and that is that next week, Lord willing, so next Sunday morning, there will be, for those who are comfortable with it, a Sunday morning uh, pre-service catechism class for those who are in grades 9 to 12. So if you are comfortable with it, if your child is comfortable with it, you are welcome to send your child here at 9.30, um, and Mr. Spike uh, will teach that first one, and then I'll teach the week after that, and so on and so forth. Um, so, But 9.30, here at the church, um, pre-service catechism class, uh, we will meet probably in the fellowship hall, so that provides plenty of room for everybody. Um, and uh, that will be going on. So uh, just wanted to let you know about that as well.
Now, our call to worship this morning comes from Psalm 48, verse 14. For this is our God, this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to the end. We are going to uh, be led in song with Sing to the King. You need to, if you're going to sing, sing quietly. Um, but we're going to sing to the King um, and uh, be led in that. <laughs> <laughs> 